you might find many centers which have the tag of panchakarma but basically panchakarma is something more deeper it involves a five cleansing programs and we can't be doing just a panchakarma in two days three days or five days we need more number of days to prepare the body for the panchakarma and then the final procedure of the cleansing is being done so the panchakarma is mainly the cleansing and there are five typical ways in which it is being cleansed that is the vamana virechana vasti nasyam and rakta moksha definitely with the uh, weight management like in obesity conditions and all you know we do treatments definitely all the treatments contributes and fasten the result when it is added with the internal medication with the yoga and with the diet and the other concerned things because always in an ayurvedic concept it is an holistic approach in which the correction of the diet your day to day life your activities your exercise patterns then your uh, treatment methodology is the time of the sleep everything counts for a better result so in certain conditions when you don't have any other systemic illnesses or any other metabolic disorders if you can spend at least 14 to 21 to 28 night in a center especially when we do here we normally get a 7 to 8 kg weight loss when a people spent to 21 to 28 nights if it is a 14 night program definitely for 4 to 5 kg we have seen the cases in which the weight loss had happened but the main point to remember is that if you have any other metabolic disorders or syndromes like you have an underactive thyroid or certain other conditions the the weight loss duration or the range in which you will get your weight loss will be a bit less sometimes within 21 night sometimes you may get only 2 to 3 kilograms but still in the long run once you finish the treatment and once you are back home and once you are able to stick on to the diet plan the exercise pattern the yoga exercises or the yogic lifestyle this all and along with the medicines this all will help you to get a good result in the long run Snehapana is basically you know I said before the actual panchakarma is being done we are doing the preparation of the body and that is in two stages the first one is the snehana and the second one is the svedana snehana involves two again internal and external uh oilation so all the treatments that are usually done you know the spiritual the patra podala sveda the abhyanga these things are all oil applications externally done and in some places these are considered as the panchakarma also but it is not so these are just the preparatory procedures and after that after the abhyanga or the external things we sweat the person the internal snehana is the way in which you are making a person drink ghee or oil that is the sneha pana So you have two options of it you know one in which you are just giving a small dosage of it which is the vicharana and another case in which we are giving just the ghee that is the acha pana when the quantity is being increased daily on a daily basis it is being doubled or you know according to the condition of the person it is being changed and then you bring the person to such a condition where you know even your skin would be having enough of oil out of it ghee or oil out of the body and then you go into the panchakarma procedures